Good morning. This is Don V with Truth Be Told, and we have another couple uh, interesting news stories here. Hope uh, everything's uh, going well with everybody. We're going to be a beautiful uh, 83, 84, 85, somewhere in that, uh, in that temperature range, and I'll take that all the time. Uh, apologize uh, if anything's different here. Uh, we just uh, uh, upgraded our OS to Windows 11, and uh, it seems to be working well, so we'll see what happens. At any rate, without ado, let's go ahead and move to the first story of the day. It says, Dirty Dr. Fauci lied to Congress on why Trump canceled Wuhan lab founding funding that he kept funding anyway. Interesting. Dr. Fauci should be out of office and indicted if America still had equal justice under the law. In latest developments, the megalomaniac and White House chief medical advisor was caught lying to Congress about funding of the Wuhan Vi Virology Lab in China. According to the latest reports, Fauci was caught lying after claims he falsely denied knowing the reason behind President uh, 45's decision to cut funding to the Chinese Virology Lab behind the COVID pandemic. Pandemic. Fauci has a long history of flip-flops and lies. It's unexplainable why he's still holding a seat of power in the American medical hier hierarchy. Representative Warren Davison and other Republicans of uh, conscience have called for Fauci's removal for several months now. Via the Daily Mail, Dr. Anthony, Anthony Fauci was accused of lying Sunday after claims he falsely denied, knowing the reasons behind President 45's decision to cut funding to the Chinese lab ac accused of releasing COVID-19. The White House chief medical advisor initially resisted 45's order to halt taxpayer funding for the Wuhan Indus Institute of Virology in April 2020. According to an upcoming book, before telling House Committee in June that he didn't know the reason behind the then president's decisions. Isn't it interesting how all these uh, communist crooks get books? All of a sudden, they're writers, too. Hmm. Very interesting. Good way to pay somebody off, isn't it? Howard Fauci's account is contradicted by verbatim quotes, which show he was fully aware that 45 took the decision out of concern about the lab safety record and fears it was the source of the COVID pandemic, including included in the new book, Nightmare Scenario, inside the 45's administration's response to the pandemic that changed history by Washington Post journalists. Yasmin Abtuleb and uh, Damanian Pal Paletta. Fauci's politics and lies resulted in the death of hundreds of thousands of America Americans. Why is this man still in government? Yeah, why is he not in prison? Interesting, interesting. All right, we've got a breaking story here. It says, uh, Feds investigating Rudy Giuliani over improper lobbying for Turkey. But Hunter Biden gets a pass for a billion-dollar deal with chick -coms. The Feds are now investigating Trump's lawyer Ru Rudy Giuliani over improper lobbying for Turkey. Where have we seen this before? This probe is a separate investigation into the Ukrainian lobby, and ABC News reported. Former Pres President 45's attorney, Rudy Giuliani, is facing a federal inquiry over possible improper lobbying for Turkey, a source familiar with the matter told the ABC News. The Justice Department's inquiry is separate from the criminal investigation of Giuliani's activities in Ukraine, the sources said. It wasn't immediately clear when this inquiry, first reported by Bloomberg, began. Rudy Giuliani was suspended from practicing law in the totalitarian state of New York on Friday. The Pellet Division of New York Supreme Court said it was immediately suspending Giuliani's license. The New York Times says it was because he made false and misleading statements, you know, like, kind of like they do all the time, and then barely retract it. Statements on the stolen 2020. This is 2021 in the United States Banana Republic. And why then 
Are the feds not investigating Hunter Biden for his billion dollar deal with the Chicans? Good question. It's amazing how some people can do whatever they want and others can't. On um, before its news, Biden amnesty and citizen, citizenship for ISIS freedom fighters. On February, Biden had a conference with his transition team and incoming staffers. He floated the idea of granting amnesty and American citizenship to the 40 ISIS insurgents currently housed at Guantanamo Bay's Delta Camp. A maximum security disciplinary, disciplinary block created to hold the world's most notorious terrorists, many of whom have been at Gitmo since 9-11. Two staffers who were present told Real, Real Raw News, oh, this must be a report from Real Raw also, that Biden's decision was in part based on conversations he had with spokespeople from Amnesty International a non-governmental human rights advocacy group and the United Nations Human Rights Council, whose stated mission is, lo is to lobby on behalf of people who have been wrongly incarcerated. Yeah. Chief Legal Counsel for Amnesty International Ash Ashlyn Conway shared Biden's opinion that the U.S. government was illegally and arbitrarily imprisoning ISIS soldiers based on sus spurious allegations and flimsy evidence. Or no evidence at all. Amnesty International, she said, would work alongside his administration to secure the prisoner's release. Yeah, just what we need is a, a bunch of terrorists in our country. What do you think about that? Isn't this just such a wonderful country we live in nowadays? Uh, thank God, God is in control. And we're going to see some interesting things happen in the next few months. Just wait and see, according to the prophets. And I'm loving to see what our Lord and our King is about ready to do. I don't know about you. This is Don V, broadcasting out of Arizona. And we are out of here.